and the young boy wouldn't pick the paper when he was asked to. So the neighbor puts his hands around the young boy's necks and assaults the young boy's Allegedly. around his neck, assaults the young man. So she calls the cop as any respectful mother should do. She didn't take the law into her own hand, mm -hmm. as some mothers would have done, or some fathers would have done. She called the cops. Mm -hmm. The cop comes, she explained everything to the cop. And then the cop says, well, won't you teach your child not to litter? The mother says, well, that doesn't give him the right to choke my son. He goes, why not? Now the police department have suspended him. They have not released his name to the public. But for the sake of his behavior, we'll call him Officer Klansman. Okay. He should be fired for the way he handled the situation. Arrested the mother, arrested the daughter, and the daughter only tried to separate her and the cop. Had her back to the cop, removing the mother from the scene. He arrested both of them. So Officer Klansman, he put them both in jail. That's his name. All right. Blood pressure, Cornell. I'm, I'm, I'm scared for your blood pressure. First of all, we're not in disagreement here, okay? The what I saw in the in the video, it was pretty bad. It was pretty 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 bad, and I think the Fort Worth Police Department has handled it correctly. You like to say that there's systemic racism and this and that. What I would like to point out is that not only did the Fort Worth Police Department handle this very quickly and rapidly, and the good citizens of Fort Worth didn't, you know, call the 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 racialist terrorist Black Lives Matter to come in and cause trouble in their city. But we don't see the thousands and thousands of interactions every day between white cops, black people, black cops, white people, Mexican cops, Mexican We don't see all those Angela, good interactions. But Angela. The, no, no, no. You, hang on. The bottom line is there's probably going to be some major discipline for this cop. And he may lose his job over First this. First of all, Angela, the man is on a paid vacation right now. The taxpayers, it's not a vacation. The taxpayers are still paying this man while he's on suspension. The video shows he shouldn't be on suspension. The video shows he should be fired to sell down. That woman, look, he choked your child. Okay, well, why shouldn't he be allowed to? Because your son lit it. That's not a man who should even wear the uniform. He's a disgrace to the uniform, and he should not be suspended. He should be fired. And whether you like it or not, white cops in the black community treat black people different, whether you like it. How many videos do we have to show the world to prove And again, how many videos that we don't see every day of the many, many interactions that go on with police officers? I We're not in disagreement here. Probably something is going to happen to this officer, but my, but my, 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 I'm begging you, let justice take its course Angela, instead of jumping Angela, conclusions. It had, doesn't Angela, look good. Angela, had there been a black man who had choked a little white wolf with paper in his shirt, that Again. cop would have tased him Again. and put him in jail, if not the shot. Racialization all the time. No, it's called the wrong unadulterated truth, whether you like it or not. This oh, truth is a good truth. Oh, good God.